wagwan wagwan welcome back to friends cook up you know it's been a while you guys haven't seen any video upload but you know so for 2023 we're gonna come with some banger and make sure so you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe because it's gonna be epic all right bless so right now the process is we're gonna get the water boil first for the sorrel and then now she's gonna prepare the ginger you see sorrel yeah? straight from yard you know people straight from jamaica as you can see still you know, she not really a peel it off she just a scrape it a bit and then now she will blend it up in the blender and she go wash it, make sure say it's well clean before she blend it up. Yeah, so that amount of ginger right here, what she have in her hand, good for this um, half bag of sari right here. See, she I get to prepare for wash up and all, no? Mm. If you make sure say you wash off the ginger, good in the cast. Right now, she does a nice small blender. As you can see, she put just a little bit of water to it, you know. Yeah. Shake your pan thing, you know. Right, see? Water boil up now, so she's gonna add that to the. Mm -hmm. So, you see what she did, right? So, she blend it up fine and then add it to the boiling water. And then make the ginger and the water go and boil it now. So, she not going to add the sorrel yet. She make the water go and boil up. And then she add the sorrel after. But right now, you can smell the ginger scent. It does the scent of the ginger. Huh? get ready for wash off the sorrel that she have freeze in the freezer mm -hmm. see as you can see you see she just rings it and look how red the water is so that's why you don't want to wash it too much so now the water is fully boiled fully hot so now she's gonna add her sorrel to it All right, guys, see how it is right now. So, in the boiling water, we're gonna leave it like that for overnight and make it go and marinate till in the morning. Now, we just strain off it and we just strain off the sorrel and the ginger. And then, tomorrow, you will see the process how it look. Right now, the Christmas season. I do some Christmas cooking. So right now I have some chicken here. I'm gonna make some fried chicken. But I have leg and thighs. So, right? so I'm gonna cut it up first and then I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna show you all the process. So I'm gonna wash it and then season it and then leave it for overnight. And then tomorrow I'm gonna show you how we cook it. Alright? Yeah man. Make sure you clean out your chicken, you know. Yeah. Cut off a chicken body, you know. Alright guys, so now I already finished cut up the chicken them. Clean them up, so now I'm gonna wash them. See the guys. Have a lime. Fresh lime. Roll the lime first cause you know say so you want it to get soft. The softer it is the more juice you get from the lime, right? Go 
boy. So lime look like it young. But juice now come out from it. But my back up still in the paper. Lime juice. Then now we're gonna add some vinegar to it. Yeah. Now go wash out what the sink now. Come, I already wash the chicken, get it ready. So I'm gonna clean on the sink. All right, guys. So I have me cut up, wash, wash out the sink. Everything just wash and clean. So right now I'm ready to season up the meat. So I'm gonna show you how I do um, all the season that I'm gonna use. So first, I have a black pepper. Garlic powder, yep, we got chicken seasoning, you don't know muggy, alright, yeah. all purpose, muggy. Season salt. Come and I really use salt, so I use this for my season salt. And you know, we don't do any measurement around here, so we just go off a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Then I'm gonna add some paprika. Just to get some color, you know. Mm -hmm. And then now, oh, add some pimenta. See how it is. Yeah, man, let's add a few of that. All right, guys. It's like when I season it from overnight. I usually season it up like with the vegetables, like my onion, bell pepper, thyme, garlic. And just season it up with the chicken. So I'm gonna show you, just to give it that flavor tomorrow one time I fry it. You just have all of that, you know. I usually probably use like probably half an onion. Hello, I add the garlic powder. Still gonna add some of that garlic to it, you know. Make sure your time well washed and clean, you know. Yeah, you don't want to cut too much you just leave it like that that should be good because pepper kind of hot yeah look at it see how it is yeah yeah man so right now i'm just gonna put some plastic wrap over it and leave it let it stay for overnight all right guys so just now me show you how you do the chicken how you season up with chicken and stuff the fried chicken so me already season up that wrap it up and put it in the fridge and let it go and marinate till tomorrow we show you a different process how we fry the chicken and stuff so now i'm going to look after the oxtail i'm going to clean up the oxtail at first and then i'm going to wash it off and then i'm going to show you how we season it okay so this is the oxtail guys see not too much to clean off still but you know yeah so just watch and see what squeeze out the lime this lime look like you have more juice than the other one mm. see so if you notice guys we we'll do the chicken first and we'll make sure so wash the chicken season it up and wash out the sink and then we'll do the oxtail separate cause you know so we know how to mix the meat them together all right as you see, we we'll wash it off with, with the lime. So now we're gonna add some vinegar. Yeah.
Now I'm gonna add our powder season to the oxtail. So right here we have um, our all-purpose Maggi season. A little bit. Yeah. Black pepper. And um, pimento berry. Yeah, let's add some of that to it, you know. Give it a flavor. Nice flavor. Garlic powder. Not too much, because I'm going to add some other garlic on it still. Season salt. Mm -hmm. Then I have this oxtail season. Let us add a little bit on it, not too much, you know. a little bit I know we have a good old Jamaican browning right real browning yeah and the browning you don't want to put too much brown into yes You know everyone cook their, their 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 food different too you know everyone have their way they how they cook their food probably they, when they season up the oxtail they probably do it a different way even when they do the chicken they probably do it a different way but you see like me even though the chicken overnight we put all of those vegetables on it and stuff like that so tomorrow you still got the flavor it you know now I forget my hot pepper and just not put too much of it still you know I'll smell a season. This when we cover this and put it down for marinade tomorrow. Mm. Look at that, guys. Nice and lovely. Eh? Yeah, man. Okay. So, right now, I'm gonna cover that up and leave it and let it marinate till tomorrow. Alright, guys, so. We we'll show you the other process last night when time we boil the sorrel and then now what we do we leave it overnight let it um, go and marinate and now so we're gonna strain off the sorrel and then mix the sorrel drink and we're gonna show you the process of how we do that all right yeah look at this sorrel guys So you have to squeeze it out to so make sure so you get all of the juice out, you know. Alright, so here so guys we only have ginger and the sorrel to it. So look how rich it is. Look there. So right now we're gonna mix it. And the only thing we're gonna use is just some, some sugar. All right, guys. So, as we showed you last night, when we done season up the oxtail and let it marinate. So now we're gonna show you how we cook it. All right. So, so as you can see, go a little bit closer. Look, as you can see, now the oxtail there. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna put it in the pot and let it brown a little bit. But see, all I season, I'll leave it for last. So. So you see all the season right here still left back. Later on, I'm just gonna add some water. I'm gonna add it back here. So right now I'm just gonna make this go and brown, and then after I'm just gonna make it cook down. You know, you will see the process. So. Yeah, so I already get the ox still brown like how I want it now. So I'm gonna add some water to it. All of that water, just leave it like that and just make it warm. Cook 
as well, right? See your ox tail a bubble up? Mm. Up here. Alright guys, look on the ox tail, it's quite a bubble up man. Nice. Have a piece here, so a mash. Yeah. Quite a bubble down. Ah. Yeah people, so right now, I'm going to get ready up for the fried chicken. I'm going to sort out the flour, I'm going to have the pot here, so I go on hot. And then after now, I'm going to so when it get hot, now I'm going to pour the oil and make the oil go and get hot. So, get the flour prepared for the fried chicken. So, watch how I go on. So now when we're ready for me um fry the chicken I'm just I gotta show you I'll show you step by step still but so we're gonna fry chicken so you have to have enough oil you know so right now I'm just gonna leave the pot make it all good probably about probably the next five four minutes before yeah man so you see right now the chicken we have from season from last night and um, we have it go and marinate it oh gosh you could just, you could smell it now just mm. look at that man yeah so right now what we're gonna do we're gonna take out the chicken put it in the flour let it go and stay there till the aisle get hot and then we're gonna start frying so as soon as the aisle get hot then we're gonna start frying Drop it in there like that. Yeah, man. See that? So I can already right now. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Alright people, so right now this set of chicken finished. So I'll take out this set batch now and then I'll put in the next batch. So look at it. So it's still brown, pretty and nice, look crispy, eh? Still ready for the season up and then I'm gonna add some more thyme and some scallion and um, onion on it for now and make it go and cook down. Yeah, so it's over here. So, so I'm gonna add some more seasoned salt to it. As when we say now guys, I'm not really use salt, I use this for my salt. But we cook just a little bit more black pepper. All purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember in my hour, I already put thyme and skelly and cook it down with it already. I'll make it go and cook down for a bit and then we'll just check in back later. Alright? I'll check in for the chicken in now. Peter mm. people, we found last batch of chicken. Yeah. Mm. 
but a bean yeah you know so we're on the final now when you see me add the butter bean all right so you always add this last so watch out go on butter bean to it now all right guys so this is the finished product right here so we have a oxtail fried chicken the coleslaw potato salad and rice and peas remember the style we would have mixed earlier look at it right here mm. yeah man i look on the plate see there done second glass of sorrel i know so we did like christmas season so merry christmas to each and everyone so make sure you go and watch the video like subscribe and share and tell a friend and tell a friend all right so let's watch out for the next video Take care.